Hi friends, it's Wesley, and here's 10 reasons you should be using KDE as your desktop environment. Before we get started today, just wanted to let everyone know I am using KDE Neon 5.7. Uh, if you go to neon.kde.org, you can learn more about this project. KDE Neon is Ubuntu LTS with the latest in KDE and QT versions on top of it. So you get regular updates and um, there's a developer version. There's also a user version. I'm using the user version uh, for this presentation. The first reason you should be using KDE is Dolphin. Dolphin is the file manager that comes with KDE and it has some really great features. First of all, as you can see, uh, these files are shown in tree view right now. If I want to, I can list them and I can also show them as thumbnails. Uh, that's pretty standard behavior really. Uh, but a really cool thing, thing that comes into play when you use this tree view here is you can also split out these panes. So now I have two panes here. This makes it really easy for transferring files. And what I'm about to show you is pretty cool because it eliminates the need for a graphical FTP manager. So if I go into my website uh, folder here, and then on this side, I can just go ahead and navigate to network. And I actually have an FTP set up already for my website. So I can just navigate there. And anything that I want to update, I can basically just drag across here uh, as I want to. So that's a pretty nice feature. It makes things really easy uh, for internet use. Um, but beyond that, it's just really a great file manager. Reason number two that you should be using KDE is actually down here in the bottom uh, system tray over on the right. You can see this little icon looks like a phone. This is KDE Connect. And if you install an application on your phone, it basically gives you your notifications for your phone, uh, gives you a little information about your battery. It's currently discharging. And I can actually access uh, the files that are on my phone from here if I want to, and I can do some file transfers. Um, there's also a really cool option where I can uh, use my phone as the input. So say I'm giving a presentation or something like that, and I wanna advance through my slides, I can use my phone basically as a trackpad. Reason number three you should be using KDE is that it looks great. Uh, and what I mean by that is that it integrates really well with GTK and Qt apps both. Uh, you can see here I'm using Firefox and this is actually just the default theme that uh, Firefox installs with and it's actually themed for my uh, desktop here. So if I were to go in and change the settings, turn this to a light theme, uh, Firefox would follow suit. So it's pretty cool that uh, that happens. Uh, I know a lot of the different um, desktop environments that I've used under Linux, they don't quite give me the same results and oftentimes I have to do some fiddling with my applications to make sure that they fit well with my theme. Would you look at all these options? Reason number four you should be using KDE is the configurability. If something doesn't look the way that you want it in KDE, it's very easy to change that. You can do just about whatever you want to uh, with theming, with colors, fonts, icons, application style. And uh, if you want to, you can even uh, change some desktop effects and things like that. Reason number five you should be using KDE is a full featured desktop environment. Now I do like hip window managers and minimal desktops just as much as the next guy, uh, but when I'm only hacking at a terminal or using an old computer, um, if I'm gonna be using a computer for a daily use or for audio visual work, I wanna make sure that it's something that's actually usable for me, um, something that's easy on the eyes and that I enjoy working with on a regular basis. Not only is it great to have a full featured desktop environment, uh, but that brings me to number six here, that's window behavior. Uh, KDE does have really intuitive uh, window behavior. Uh, you know, pulling windows over to the side here, you can tile them in the corners if you'd like. Uh, you can do that if you'd like really easily. Uh, windows also snap together, they have a nice kind of snap tension when you get close to another one. So it makes arranging your windows in a way that's going to be productive for you very easy. Reason number seven that you should be using KDE is that it gives you some really flexible options for your application launcher. So if you click down here in the application launcher, uh, you'll notice we have the default application launcher that gives us applications. We have some places here on our computer 
Uh, we also have history and a few other things here that we can use. Um, but not only can we do that, but we have some other configuration options. So let's go ahead and take a look at alternatives. We have this full screen application dashboard. So let's switch to that and take a look. It's gonna be a little bit more like what you're used to with uh, GNOME perhaps, or um, maybe even with uh, Unity. So this is pretty neat, but it's not something that I really wanna use. For me, I'm into the more traditional uh, menu. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to alternatives again. If you select application menu, click switch. It's actually a really clean menu and it looks nice. Reason number eight you should be using KDE is the plasma search. So anytime the desktop is in focus, um, so really all you have to do is click on the desktop or by default you can hit Alt F2. Uh, but what you do at this point is just go ahead and start typing. If you're looking for a file on your computer or if you're looking for a program of some sort, you can find it here. There we go. Reason number nine is widgets. Although not all widgets are great, and some of them can be quite terrible, um, some of them can be really handy. For instance, I did add this uh, calendar, and it gives me the option to do a little bit more than I would with a standard calendar. It pulls in events from my Google Calendar, um, puts those here in the calendar, and also in the uh, on the side here, I've got weather for local here. And then I also have a timer. So if I wanna set a timer, I've got some quick buttons down here that I can set. I can use a sound, I can repeat it. Or if I go over this uh, time right here and just scroll, I can add minutes to this timer. So if you're somebody that likes to really get into time management when you're working, this is something that's going to play uh, a big role in that. You know, you could set it for 20 minutes, start it, and it's going. Reason number 10 that you should be using KDE is the applications. I can't think of any other desktop provider that manages quite the number of valuable applications as KDE. Now, from office and creative software to games, development, and even educational tools, it definitely has a little bit of everything uh, for every type of user. So I'd encourage you to go to kde.org, check out some of these applications in here. If this is of interest to you, as I mentioned before, you can go to Neon, kde.org and you can get KDE Neon for your computer. Good one, buddy. Let it all out.